Today I'm going to show you how I do some of my lighting and just how to navigate <clears throat> lighting in a easier way. I know sometimes when you're just now stepping into Blender, you'll press grab and you'll move the light and it's like, how do I rotate it? How do I get it to be here? Hopefully some of the tools and tricks that I use can be used in your project. So feel free to stick around. This video should be less than 10 minutes and um, yeah, let's get to it. So it doesn't matter what model you use. I'm going to go ahead and delete all my lighting here. And maybe you can follow along with a model of your own. Uh, I just bought something from CG Trader, a Nike shoe model. I thought that would be kind of cool. And then I set up a quick little camera with a pretty strong focal length. Um, I'm probably going to bring that back a little bit. But anyways, let's dive into lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and move shoe two way out of the way and let's just get into it. I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to call it lighting. Make it yellow because of the lights. And starting with the most a uh, very simple but tried and true kind of setup. So you press shift A, press area light. Your light should end up in the middle. Now, sometimes we just press G and then we're moving around. It's like, where the fuck? Like, you know, the best way to move your lighting, in my opinion, is you just want to be locked on these axes. So when I say that, press G. And if you press X, you only move on these axes. So now you're moving in this direction. Go back, press G, Y. You're moving back this way. G, Z. So you're just grabbing and then locking. So think grab and lock. So I'm going to grab, move up the Z axis. Maybe not that far. You're going to have to go back and forth with a lot of stuff. Then you press grab, move it on the X axis. And you move it this way. Okay, now let's say you want your light now to point in the direction of the object. There's a few ways, but I'm going to just do it manually instead of getting it all tangled up. If you press R now, so instead of grab, now we're thinking rotate. So you have G for grab, R for rotate. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all you need to know for now. So you press R, Y. Now you're locking it onto another uh, axis, the Y axis. Now I know some of you probably just press R and you're like, what is going on with my mouse? You got to lock that. You gotta lock it. When you lock it, you're gonna get a lot. It's gonna just be an easier time. So I do R Y, and sometimes I make a mistake and I press X first, or depending on the way you set up your scene, don't worry about it. Just switch to the other one. You know, if it doesn't look right, then try X. You don't have to be like mentally correct every single time. Like, oh, this is because of this and that. So let me see. So now the lighting, <coughs> you're seeing a. Pretty simple lighting setup. And if you're curious, I'm using cycles here. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up a little bit more. So this is called like a three point light technique. Um, so I have one light on the left side. I'm gonna duplicate it by pressing Shift D. I'm gonna drag it on the X axis. And then, because we're already on the X axis, you just do mirror X global. Now we have another one that we're going to drag it on the x-axis. Just make sure the light kind of hits it. Now you'll see we get a little bit of a cool little setup. And then the third light, you're going to add. And one thing I want to make sure I mention here. These are just basic lights. I haven't changed anything yet. Nothing yet. <coughs> Let's add in the third light. So area, G, Z. Grab it. Move it on the Y. Now here's where it's going to get a little tricky. Now we know GX, move it on the x-axis. We want it to pretty much fill in that part, the front part of our object. So you move it this way, GY, GY. Then we go GX, and then we're moving the light that way. Now if you can guess, we're going to do GZ. So now we're moving it on the z-axis. So I like to kind of get the angling right, and then I'll move it. And then sometimes it's still kind of a little bit funky. And then you, and here's where it gets a little 
tricky. You might need to start bouncing between the X and the Y axis. Oops, you can see right now, even I'm kind of like running into an issue. And let's say, okay, it's changing too fast, but you want to catch it, right? Like it's like, oh man. <clears throat> Hold down shift while you're moving that and it'll move so slow. Okay, so let's see what this looks like now. So to make it really pop out or so you can see where the lights are working, we have, this is our blue light is the fill. Let's make this one red. And let's make this one, it's gonna look really ugly. Let's make this one green. So you can kind of see what's going on here. That red one is coming in from that left side. Doing one from the right side. Um, and this is a pretty like common lighting setup. I think if you just do this most of the time, you'll be you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna play around with it. And I'm gonna show you what I do sometimes to get a really, really different kind of lighting setup or a bit more realistic one. So I go to Shader Editor to my lights, right? So we got this bad boy. This is what colors. You click use nodes, and you're not gonna see this if you're an EV. This is a cycles exclusive thing. So I go black body, I press like shift A, I connect these two, and we're on, we're selecting our light bulb, so. I'm gonna just default this back to white, just because we don't want any issues. And all three of these bad boys, oops. Make sure you're saving your project. And now, what you'll see here is that black body essentially is an emulation of just like real life lights. So this is like a campfire in terms of it's, there's a, some sort of light value. I do 10K, because 10K is like a neon photo studio kind of thing. So we got one, two, three. And then what I'll do here is just do the same thing for all of these. One, two, three. Sorry, sometimes you and I lose track of my numbers. And I'm not saying that to be like special or anything. I think we all lose track of our numbers. And you'll see this setup is feeling a bit more like realistic. Um, and then I'm gonna do one more thing and I'll just go ahead and call this video like a basic lighting setup. Just get you guys set. Now, one thing that I've been doing that has been really fun and cool is like those background gradients. And sometimes when presenting a product or anything of that sort, oh, when you have like some sort of color in the background, it starts to really pop out. So we're just gonna drag our light back here and we're gonna rotate it up on the X axis I think that if you want to always double check, <clears throat> you press M, you can see your rotation. 1080, 90 degrees, those are like, those are some solid numbers. That's when you know you're just like perfectly, uh, it's just perfect. It's not really moving at an angle. Okay. Now we can also scale our light. So what I do typically is I'll scale the light on the X axis to make it a bit more horizontal. I'll bring it this way, bring it that way. Go back into my view by pressing tilde, view camera. And then you can mess with the spread of the light. And now let's pump it up. Oh man, that light is really far behind. Let's do 3000. Whoa, where is that light? Oh my God. How far behind is that light? Dude. Looks like it's there, but it's, oh, it's just shooting straight up. Okay. Let's, maybe we can calm it down. Doesn't need to be that bright. Uh, maybe it does. You can see now, if you play with your colors, you can get, uh, let's see, what would be a cool like Nike color? Maybe something like that. And you bring it down a little bit more and you can get a bit of a gradient this is the spread actually don't go too hard with the spread <coughs> <coughs> and 
and yeah now you can kind of like there's a shoe here and I'm gonna you get like this nice kind of like gradient tinker with it uh, let me show you one other cool like lighting setup and that's it for this video so what I also do sometimes and I've seen this kind of trendy is turn off the lights on this on like those three sets that we just have and then you can have a light let's say let's make something kind of like dramatic like a fucking crazy blue like this blue and then let's go ahead and press shift a we get an area light move it this way and we're putting it kind of like right behind our object and what you'll see it does is it makes a bit of like and let's fuck with the spread a little bit it's kind of hard to tell when you're doing it from this side bless bless this Mac for just being able to crank out those things so you could do something like bring in like an opposite kind of color or the same color but I'll have to render it and just like kind of get you to see what it looks like let's play around with this this is feeling very maybe we can make the light a little bit smaller and just center it with the shoe maybe make it a little not as strong Um, you could have some sort of like mystery shoe kind of thing, or you we could just make it just like straight up white, which looks good too. But I'll render this and show you guys what's up in the final cut. But anyways, um, I'll share a default project file just so you can kind of see what it's like. I'll have to remove the model because I don't want to get in trouble for piecing out someone's paid model. Um, but anyways, like usual, thanks for being here. I really appreciate everyone. Uh, it's really cool to see some of these videos, get some love. And also if you have any ideas or things that you run into and you're like, Micah, do you know how to figure that out? Like send me a DM like, or comment down below. It's all up. Peace.